In today's video, I'm going to be giving this mini PC a small upgrade, which I'm hoping will greatly improve its performance, specifically with gaming. So mini PCs have gotten very popular over the past few years. Many people are realizing they don't need a large tower that takes up a lot of space in their home office. Uh, take a look at the best selling mini PCs on Amazon here. So there are many PCs here with those N100, N150, N97, and you know those N200 chips, they're becoming very popular. Four of the top 10 PCs are mini PCs with those N series chips on Amazon. So this is a Peladin mini PC, uh, W04 or WO4, I don't know how you say it exactly. So this has got a Ryzen 5 5600H processor, 16 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig NVMe SSD drive. It came with Windows 11 pre-installed. Uh, I did a video on this PC about three months ago. Uh, it was sent to me in exchange for a video review. I'll try to remember to leave a link to the original video in the description. And honestly, this is a great mini PC for everyday use and some light gaming. However, there was one thing holding it back, in my opinion, and that is the RAM. So you do get 16 gigs of RAM, which is a decent amount of RAM, but it's only single channel. So there is only one stick of RAM in here. You really want two sticks of RAM for better performance. Uh, I wish it shipped with two 8 gig sticks instead of the one 16 gig stick. So today I'm going to add another stick of RAM. So it's going to go from 16 gigs to 32. Uh, I'm going to try a few games with only the one stick of 16 gigs of RAM and then try out the same games with the dual channel RAM. So it's going to have two 16 gig sticks for a total of 32. Uh, now a real test or comparison would be to test this with two 8 gig sticks compared to the original one 16 gig stick of RAM. Uh, but you know, I just wanted that extra RAM. And here's a look at the inside of the PC with one stick of RAM. This is what it came with. And now here it is with that additional stick of RAM. So now what I'm going to do is try it a few games. I'll show some gameplay with the 16 gigs of RAM single channel and then with uh, the 32 gigs of RAM in dual channel. Now, before I try any games out, first I'm going to run the Heaven benchmark test. So here it is with the 16 gigs of RAM. I did have an issue recording the audio of the benchmark, but as you can see, I got an FPS of 21.9. And here it is with the 32 gigs of RAM. So I got an FPS of 37.1. That's a 69% increase. And the first game we have up is GTA 5. This is 1080p in the normal settings. All right, so that was with the 16 gigs of RAM, one stick. Now we are doing two sticks of RAM with a total of 32 gigs. And it's a big, big difference.
And next up is Forza Horizon 5. This is 1080p on all low settings, or mostly low settings. This is the benchmark test. Obviously, the first run will be uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Second test will be 32 gigs. So we went from 21 FPS to 35. That's a 66.7% increase. All right, next is the benchmark test for Black Myth Wukong. And this is in 1080p, uh, low settings. And another nice increase going from 18 FPS to 29 FPS. That's a 61% increase. And here is Spider-Man Remastered. This is on the low settings, 1080p.
And here we are with the 32 gigs of RAM dual channel. And as you can see, you know, another nice increase here. And the last game I'm going to test out is Fortnite. This is 1080p uh, performance mode, and I lock the FPS at 60. All right, so even though I was set at 60 FPS, uh, most of the time it wasn't steady at 60 FPS. It would drop a lot, in like in the mid 50s to high 50s. So now I have the uh, two sticks of RAM in here and still locked at 60 FPS. And you see most of the time it is pretty consistent and stays at 60 FPS here. All right, so definitely worth it to pick up an extra stick of RAM for your mini PC if it does have an extra slot. FPS jumped in most games, and as you can see in Fortnite, it allowed me to keep a steady 60 frames per second. Now, this doesn't just apply to mini C PCs. If you have a full-size PC with only one stick of RAM, you know, you add another stick, you should get the same results, you know, depending on your configuration. But let me know what you guys think in the comments, and let me know if I should try any other games on this mini PC. But that's going to do it for this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.